Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Left Hand Corner. We have Fisheye, who honestly might be a contender to take this season of Hasu League. Depending on what shape he's in, he's going to be the Peach Terran Upper Left, 6 o'clock location. We have Mana Dog starting as Mana Dog, starting as the Blue Terran. He's all over the streams. I think see him in Artosis' chat and the BWC L League chats. Good guy. Let's see what his level of play looks like been thinking about strategies to get more viewers into StarCraft. And I'm wondering if we can do some sort of lofting, because Korean culture is a big thing, right? And actually, I want to sideline say that the spread of K-pop might have been an initial direct thing that started because of StarCraft. Because if you know StarCraft, you know K-pop is basically right there. Like, people who are into StarCraft were into K-pop. That's just known. That's just kind of what happened. And my guess is, is it spread a little bit there, but K-pop just has more pull than Brood War. But I'm wondering if we can cycle it back around, if we can get the ladies to see players like Bisu out there. Maybe we can dress up. Green culture is taking over the world. The height might have been Ganyam style. Think about it, though, everybody. How can we loft Korean cultures? Maybe if we could get, like, Korean drama. Is there a Korean drama that talks about Brood War? I know there's like a, a, a half comment, but it's like based around Brood War, where maybe we could draw more people in. I'm getting reports in the stream that uh, we need more VTubers is actually one of the comments. Maybe we could get Brood War. Brood War VTubing, has that been done? Maybe I should do that. I don't even know who, would I just be like a random Protoss player or a random Protoss thing? I can't even think what I would VTube. An SCV? The thing is, is like, so many of the the Terran characters are just, you know, Terran. Maybe I could do, I could VTube as a, as a, uh, what's it called? A Cerebrit? <laughs> Something like that. Someone get on that. If you want to build me a VTube whatever thing, I will figure out how to use it. We'll play from there. Mana Dog going for a very defensive interior base right here. I do have some Kerrigan Ayayas. I'm not sure that it would VTube Kerrigan, though. Cybernetic score warping in. Maybe a Zealot? I just feel like with the... I feel like the Artosis bias is, has uh, rubbed off on me, where I associate Protoss units with kind of like, derp, you know, kind of like slam keyboards thing. I don't think all Protoss players are actually like that. I actually think a lot of Protoss players are actually quite creative. <laughs> But it does seem like when it, it does seem like Artosis has successfully managed to make the units associated with Protoss kind of derpy, right? Maybe a Carbot. Care anyway. Two Marines pushing need to actually evacuate upon seeing that Zealot. Looks like they are going to pull back that factory under construction. We have three Marines with this defensive structure should be sufficient. Probe has wiped out. Zealot is able to slow down that factory though actually get an initial hit on that. Ooh, two initial hits, and the Marines away from their defensive holdings. The Zealot might even get a second Marine kill, going for that SCV once again. Greatly delaying this factory. Nice play from Fisheye early. And these Marines very weakened. The Zealot pulling back to recharge a little bit of shield. Factory finally finishes, but so much harassment early. Now you gotta worry about that follow-up Dragoon and just having sufficient defense to deal with it because when the Marines get peeled out early, that means that Dragoon, it usually what's three Marines to a single Dragoon and this Marine is one shot away from dying. Manadog bravely trying to grab that natural expansion. I don't think that's going to last long. That's going to be a force cancellation once this Dragoon makes its way up. A Vulture has been produced, but that is certainly not going to be sufficient. So Marine dead. Second Marine's not even there to join the attack that Zealot scooping right back around and now Fisheye in firm control I mean he was in control of this match earlier but in firm control earlier I gotta say Mana Dog looking outclassed in game one holding off the command center are we gonna see a cancellation or is it okay now finally being cancelled to save some minerals Fisheye getting that expansion up and making the way up the ramp wants more blood Marine getting wiped out only a Vulture remains the Zealot finally dies Nice bit of micro from Fisheye to avoid the SCV fire. One Marine left, but there's a second Dragoon making its way. Actually, it looks like it's been a little bit 
off center needs to regroup but now okay a siege tank finally going to get built a command center actually being built up the ramp mana dog still has troubles though as the misfire rate not working to his advantage gonna gg right there Ooh, wow fisheye looking strong in this game this is what i was saying potentially and he looks sharp that's possibly League championship material right there hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for listening